This is Jan and Hassan with Linguistic Decolonization. Africa is often thought of as a monolithic entity, but in fact it is the second largest continent with extreme diversity of all kinds, including cultural, geographic, climatic, and as we'll explore in this video, linguistic. Here we will cover Africa's four major language families, Afroasiatic, Niger-Congo, Nilo-Saharan, and Khoisan. Africa has about 1,500 to 2,000 different languages, equaling for a total sum of about 1.2 billion people. All right, let's get started. All right, the first language family we're going to talk about is the Afroasiatic family, which comprises of around 500 million speakers and th around 300 languages. It is made up of six different branches and is the second largest family of Africa. It's located mainly in North Africa, East, A East Africa, and the Middle East. It is one of the oldest attested language families, dating back to around 10,000 BCE. There are different theories as to where it originates, whether Sudan, the Arabian Peninsula, the Ethiopian highlands, or the Levant. But most likely it seems to have originated in the Ethiopian highlands. The first branch we're going to talk about is the Semitic branch, which is the biggest and it is from the Middle East and Ethiopia. The spread of Arabic brought it to most of Northern Africa, including Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Mauritania, Northern Mali, parts of Niger, Libya, Chad, Egypt, Sudan, Eritrea, Djibouti, and also small parts of Nigeria, Cameroon, the Central African Republic, South Sudan, and Somalia. Arabic is the biggest language of this family and branch with around 300 million speakers. Other significant Semitic languages are Amharic of Ethiopia with around 25 million speakers and Hebrew with around 9 million speakers all three have their own scripts. Amharic script is known as Ge'ez. These languages are known for uvular and pharyngeal consonants, which are made at the back of the throat, such as Qa, Ha, and A. They also have non-concatenative morphology in which triliteral roots are modified to create different words. These are some of the oldest attested written languages that were present in ancient Mesopotamia, Israel, Abyssinia, Arabian civilizations, and others. The Egyptian branch is now extinct. However, it included the ancient Egyptian language, famous for uh, its hieroglyphics. Now it survives as Coptic, which serves as a liturgical language of the Coptic church in Egypt. Next, we have the Cushitic branch of the family, which is found in East Africa, mostly in the Horn of Africa, which comprises of the present-day states of Ethiopia, Somalia, Eritrea, Djibouti, and Kenya, but also is found in Egypt, Sudan, and Tanzania. Its biggest language is Oromo, with around 35 million speakers spoken in Ethiopia and Kenya, and also another significant language is Somali, with around 30 million speakers spoken primarily in Somalia, but also parts of Ethiopia and Kenya. These speakers are descendants of the early Kerma civilization. Next we have the Berber branch, also known as Amazigh. It is found in North Africa, specifically Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Northern Mali, Northern Niger, and Northern Chad, that is to say um, a lot of the Saharan Desert. To a lesser extent, is it is also found in Western Egypt and Libya. These languages tend to be very consonant heavy. They are also known for having their own writing called Tifinagh. Also what is known as Maghribi Arabic is essentially Berber with Arabic influence. Notable languages include Tashalhit with around 11 million speakers of the Atlas Mountains and Tuareg aka Tamashek with around 2 million speakers who are nomads in the Sahara Desert. Then there is a Chadic branch which is native to northern Nigeria, southern Niger, northern Cameroon, southern Chad, and a small part of the Central African Republic. Its biggest language by far is Hausa, with around 100 million speakers, which is the second largest language of Sub-Saharan Africa, spoken principally in northern Nigeria and southern Niger, but also in northern Ghana, Cameroon, Chad, and Sudan. It has one of the biggest numbers of native speakers in Sub-Saharan Africa, around 50 million and is an important lingua franca and trade language in Western and Central Africa. Other notable 
Languages in this group are Kamwe and Masa. They are all tonal languages. And then last but not least, we have the uh, Omodic branch, which is located in the southwestern highlands of Ethiopia. They are fairly agglutinative and have complex tonal systems. The biggest of these languages is Wolaita, with around 2 million speakers. Next, we have the Niger-Congo language family, which has around 800 million speakers and comprises of around 1,500 different languages. Partly known as congo Kordofanian, it is the world's largest language family and the biggest language family of Africa in numbers of speakers, languages, and size, with more than a dozen branches. Complicated internal classifications are still being sorted out. It is evident that it is more diverse than Indo-European, and perhaps the most diverse language family in the world. The family originated probably in the savannas around present-day Chad and Sudan. The time of origin is unknown, but it is undoubtedly fairly ancient. It has two major divisions, the inner group, which is the vast majority of the family. The inner group includes Benue Kwa, which is the single largest branch of the family and the inner group, and the outer group, which is older, but it is made up of fewer groups of which the Kordofanian languages of the Nuba Hills of Sudan might be the oldest surviving group and the Mande languages of West Africa are the most populous. The main distinction between the inner and outer groups is the use of noun classes. The former having developed noun classes and the latter have not. The majority of these languages are tonal. Other common characteristics are nasalization, a consonant vowel or vowel consonant vowel pattern for the most part being subject object verb verb or subject verb object. And labial velars like kpa, kba, and kwa. Noun classes in the inner group and most of its languages of West Africa tend to be isolative or analytical, meaning having short words, while the Bantu languages of Central and Southern Africa tend to be agglutinative, which means having larger words made up of different morphemes. We can't go over all of the internal diversity here because such a task requires its own video, but we will just go over some of the more major branches. First, there's Mande, which is the largest group of the outer part of Niger Congo. It is a very old branch that originated in present-day Mali in the fourth millennium BCE, but spread to Senegal, Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and to a lesser extent other areas. It has almost 70 million speakers in all, most of which belong to the Manding language, which has around 45 million speakers. And it also was the language of the Mali Empire. Its literary standard is known as Kangbe, which is written in the Nko script, and most of its speakers are in Mali, Guinea, and Ivory Coast. Next we have the Senegambian branch, which has a little more than 60 million speakers in all. It belongs to the inner group of Niger Congo, probably originated in present-day Senegal, and it includes languages like that of the semi-nomadic Fulani, which has f around 50 million speakers. And that language spread from Senegal across the whole Sahel region to the Western Sudan. And it uses both Arabic script and a script called Adlam. Also, there is Wolof of Senegal, which has around 10 million speakers. Unlike most branches of Niger Congo, this branch is not tonal. Next, we have the Kwa group of Inner Niger Congo of the Benue Kwa grouping. It is concentrated in southern Ghana and southeastern Ivory Coast. Akan is the biggest language of the branch with 20 million speakers. The whole branch just has around 40 million speakers in all. And then there's the Volta Niger group of Inner Niger Congo, also of the Benue Kwa grouping. It has around 120 million speakers altogether. And this branch dominates in southeastern Ghana east of the Volta, southern Togo, southern Benin, and southern Nigeria. Its two biggest languages by far are Yoruba of southwestern Nigeria, southern Benin and Togo, and Igbo of southeastern Nigeria, with around 50 million speakers each. Igbo historically has used the Insibidi script, which is in the process of being revived. Next we have Benue Congo of Inner Niger Congo, also of the Benue Kwa grouping. This is Niger Congo's biggest branch geographically. It contains 
the Cross River Bantoid languages, which in turn contain the narrow Bantu languages, which have come to dominate Central and Southern Africa. Via the Bantu expansion of Bantoid speakers, which started around 1000 BCE from the Mambila Plateau region in the border region of present-day Nigeria and Cameroon. This branch has almost 400 million speakers, which is about half of all of the speakers of Niger Congo altogether. The biggest language is Swahili, which is also the biggest language of Sub-Saharan Africa, with almost 200 million speakers, and it is spoken primarily in Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, and the Democratic Republic of Congo, formerly known as Zaire. It is also spoken in parts of other neighboring countries. And then there is Lingala, which has around 50 million speakers in the Republic of Congo and the Democratic Republic of Congo. These languages are known for their noun classes, of which Swahili has around nine. They are also agglutinative. Other notable languages in this group include Rwanda Rundi, Congo, and Zulu. All right, the next family is Nilo Saharan. It has around 60 million speakers in all, and it comprises of over 200 languages. This is the third largest family of Africa after Niger, Congo, and Afroasiatic. It probably originated around the present day borders of Sudan and Ethiopia. The origins of this family possibly go back tens of thousands of years. The internal cohesion of this family is still being debated. Today it is the most common family in South Sudan, but also Southern Egypt, parts of Sudan, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Democratic Republic of Congo, Central African Republic, Chad, Niger, Nigeria, Libya, Mali, and other neighboring countries. It is divided into 14 subgroups or branches, the biggest in terms of geographical area and number of speakers, of which are the Eastern Sudanic, Central Sudanic, Saharan, and Songhai branches. Some characteristics are tone, consonant, vowel, consonant, or vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant, patterns for the most part, dental consonants, ejective consonants, and subject, object, verb, or object, subject, verb. All right, the first branch is Eastern Sudanic, which is probably the biggest branch of the family. These are languages along the Nile River from Egypt to Sudan to South Sudan. Oh, they're also found in Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania. Notable languages are Luo, which has around 10 million speakers and is spoken mostly in Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda, but also a small part of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Luo is actually the native language of Barack Obama's father. Other notable languages are Dinka, with around 4 million speakers of South Sudan, Nuer, with about 3 million speakers of South Sudan, and also the Maasai, of Kenya and Tanzania with about 2 million speakers. Other notable languages are the Nubian languages of southern Egypt and northern Sudan. The next branch is Central Sudanic. These languages are spoken in southern Chad, northern Central African Republic, and northeastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Notable languages are Lugbara with around 2.5 million speakers of the northeastern Democratic Republic of Congo and Uganda. Mangbetu and Lendu, also of Northeastern Democratic Republic of Congo, with about a million speakers each, and Sarangambai of Southern Chad, with a million speakers. Next, we have the Saharan group. These are languages spoken in Chad, Niger, and Northeastern Nigeria. Its biggest language by far is Kanuri, with around 10 million speakers, spoken around Lake Chad. And lastly, we have the Songhai branch, which is either a group of closely related languages or a dialect continuum, spoken in parts of Mali, Burkina Faso, southwestern Niger, and northern Benin. Altogether, they have around 4 million speakers. Next on our list is the Khoisan language family. This family has about a third of a million speakers altogether, and it's composed of about 20 uh, languages in total. These are uh, most well known in the mainstream because of the cliques that are present in the language. Now, not all languages in Africa have cliques, but the ones that do have cliques, they typically belong to this language family. These are also known as the Bushman languages or the clique languages. While it's not a single language family group, the term Khoisan is more of convenience. 
There's no doubt that they have a shared origin, but it goes very back and up to the point where they developed into four separate families within this family. These languages are associated with the Khoisan people and they're considered to be some of the oldest people still around who once inhabited a larger area of the African continent but who were contained to the southwestern corner of the continent mostly as a result of expansion from the Bantu people. These families were originally all under the umbrella Khoisan just because of the physical similarities of the people and some similarities of their languages such as the cliques. But really uh, we know that there are several actual subfamilies within the family. Most speakers live in southwestern Africa, Namibia, Botswana, South Africa, and to a lesser extent also Angola, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Two languages are spoken in Tanzania. The proto-language might date back to 60,000 years ago. First we have the Kwe family. The name itself means person. And this is the biggest and most diverse Khoisan family and it's found in mostly in Namibia and Botswana. In all it has about 225,000 speakers and the bulk of which the majority of these belong to the Nama language also known as Koe Koe Gowab or it's also known as Hotentot. It, it makes use of 31 consonants and 20 of these consonants are clicks. Also this language has official status in Namibia. Next is the Tu family. The word also means person in these languages, mostly in South Africa and Botswana. Speakers are mostly semi-nomadic hunter-gatherers of the Kalahari Desert, and it only has two surviving languages. One of them is Ta, also known as Kong, with 200, with 2,500 speakers, and Ning, which is moribund. Ta is probably the most phoneme-heavy language in the world, with around 100 different phonemes, more or less, depending on what one considers consonant clusters, including click clusters. The next family group is Juhoan, spoken in Botswana, Namibia, and Angola. It consists of two languages, Kung, also known as Ju, and it has as many as 16,000 speakers, and Amkoe, which is moribund. Sandawe is another group. It consists of 60,000 speakers in Tanzania. Its inclusion is still being debated, but there are definitely phenotypical connections and phonological connections, such as cliques. Seems to be most closely related to the Khoi languages. This is likely the only Khoisan language outside the core region of southwestern Africa, although Khoisan peoples previously inhabited parts of eastern Africa before Bantus pushed them further south. Sandawe, along with Hadza, although more admixed now, seem to be the last surviving remnants of the East African Khoisans. There's some other notable mentions of other uh, language families that, we, that are important to cover. One of them is Austronesian. Uh, it can be found in Malagasy with about 25 million speakers in Madagascar. It seems a bit out of place to find an Austronesian language that's native to Southeastern Asia and the Pacific that's spoken so close to the African continent but the island was first settled by peoples of Borneo in the first millennium, around uh, the year 1000. They started to mix with new coming Bantu and Arab populations. And there is some Bantu influence in the phonology, and its first known writing system, Sarabe, is Arabic based. There are some language isolates to consider too. The Dogon language, which has historically been linked to Niger Congo, but the evidence is weak. If they do belong to the family, it was a group that split off very early. It has roughly eight separate closely related languages in Mali with uh, 600,000 speakers in, in all. Also, the severely endangered Defaka language of the Niger Delta might be an isolate or, or alternatively a very divergent member of Niger Congo. There are only about seven other known language isolates on the African continent, all of which have only a handful to a few thousand speakers. It includes Hadza in Tanzania and it was previously classified within the Khoisan family. Uh, there's Bangime, in, uh, could be found in Mali, Jala, uh, which could be found in Nigeria, Lal, which can be found in Chad, Shabo, which can be found in Ethiopia, Dompo, which can be found in Ghana, and the extinct Oblo, which can be found or was found in Cameroon. Another group are the Pygmy languages, a group just as old as the Khoisan. 
But unfortunately, it seems their ancestor languages have vanished for the most part, but still have been preserved in some key forest-related re vocabulary. For the most part, they've adopted Bantu languages. However, one ancestor pygmy language seems to have been preserved, that being Rimba. But linguists are having a hard time keeping contact with them in the Gabonese rainforest. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. We plan to go into more detail uh, in future videos on each independent family. This has been Yang and Hassan with Linguistic Decolonization.